Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the second mini episode of CCO, where we are comparing popular free clients against each other to determine which free client is the best. As a quick recap, in the first episode, we had Meteor vs Aristus, with Meteor coming out as the clear winner. And the winner of today's video will move on to face off against Meteor. Today we have Worst vs Liquid Bounce. As a quick reminder, all of the initial client comparisons were decided by an online randomizer to make things as fair as possible, and the rating system is based on the score of 0 through 10 for the following categories. The client with the highest score will move on. Before we jump into this episode, I want to quickly shout out the legends that are my YouTube members. These videos are funded and made possible by these legends. If you enjoy this content, please consider looking at the benefits down below. Thanks guys. Downloading Worst is pretty straightforward. Visiting their download page, you can choose a version of Minecraft, and then you'll be taken to a page with all of the releases for that version of Minecraft. Worst requires the Fabric API to run, so you will need to download that too. For your convenience, the Worst devs have added a button to download this with one click, which is awesome. Once everything has downloaded, place the Fabric API and Worst client jar file in your mods folder and launch a new instance of Fabric. The process of downloading and installing Worst is not difficult, but it is not as convenient as other clients with custom launches, so I can't rate it a full 10 out of 10, but it is not a difficult process, so I give it 8 out of 10. Worst comes by default with two different UI skins. The default one can be accessed with the right shift keybind, while the secondary and more standard UI can be accessed with the right control keybind. Neither of these GUIs are very customizable. They both offer a few basic settings like opacity and color, but that is basically as far as customizations go. One thing that I do find annoying is that the one GUI has a module search bar, while the more standard one does not. The client also lacks a HUD editor. There are a few HUD elements that can be enabled, disabled, or moved to either of the top left or top right corners. Overall, the user interface and GUI in general feel very outdated with no way to even set a custom font. For all of the above reasons, I rate the client's UI 6 out of 10. Worst offers a strange but interesting combination of combat modules. They are modules like Anchor Aura and Crystal Aura, clearly made for crystal combat servers, but then the client lacks modules like Surround or Whole ESP, but at the same time it offers modules clearly made for minigame servers like Auto Steel or TP Aura. While most of the combat modules work, none of them are very impressive. I think it is fair to say that Worst is not a PvP focused client. With that said, I can't give Worst more than 4 out of 10 for its combat modules. Worst is much more impressive when it comes to utility, though the render modules are pretty basic. Worst offers a range of render modules from new chunks to open water ESP, which is a module that highlights open water for when you are fishing, and while some of these may be helpful, they are all extremely basic and lack any sort of custom options beyond selecting a color. The utility modules are much more impressive, Worst offers obscure modules like Treebot, which collects wood for you automatically, or Feed Aura, which feeds mobs around you, which I guess is kinda cool. It also offers more standard utility modules like Scaffold or Auto Sprint, which is great. Worst is another client that seems a little confused to me. Instead of focusing on one topic like minigame servers or anarchy servers, it offers a bit of everything. This also means for the most part that the modules are less quality at what they do than ones from other clients that are made with a specific purpose in mind. So for utility, I give Worst 5 out of 10. Worst comes with some other helpful and interesting features. There is an integrated alt manager and on the server screen there is an added cleanup button which helps you organize and remove old servers that don't connect which is cool. The client also comes with a server finder which can be used to find and connect to unsecure servers. I think this is one of the features that makes Worst popular, though I would advise you to be careful or not to use this as players have had their Minecraft accounts terminated for joining and griefing servers with tools like this. Worst also has an options button that provides some additional client settings like managing x-ray blocks. Overall, Worst is an interesting client with a few cool features, 8 out of 10. Before we move on to Liquid Bounce, I want to take a second to thank everyone who left a comment on my last video. I set a goal of 100 comments and we passed that a few hours after posting. Kaizem? 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 Uh... Kaizem. Single-handedly posted 101 comments, which is crazy. Today, I want to do something really funny and probably really stupid. Let's reverse the like and dislike buttons. So if you dislike this video, please leave a like. And if you like the video, please leave a dislike. I really hope this has no negative effect on the video and my 
my channel. Oh well, let's see what happens I guess. Before we move on to the Liquid Bounce review, I want to make it clear that this series is dedicated to Anarchy and Hackerverse hacker servers. So while Liquid Bounce may be a better client on minigame servers, this review is focused on Anarchy. Downloading Liquid Bounce is a pain, I really dislike the system they have set up. There are a few ways of installing the client, the method they recommend is downloading their custom launcher. Now normally I am all for custom installers that automate the client install, but in this case the installer is a custom launcher that requires you to log in with your account information which I really dislike. Thankfully there is a way to download the mod file and launch it like any other fabric mod, but downloading the client is painful. Firstly they zip files up to add social links and on top of this the client requires the fabric kotlin jar file to run and java21, but neither of these are included or linked on the site. There are also a few pages of ads that you are forced to navigate through to download the client. Overall, the download and install process is painful and terrible compared to all of the other clients in this video. The only reason I am not rating it 0 is because the client is downloadable and usable. 1 out of 10. Thankfully, things get much better under this category. I have not used this client in a few years and it looks like things have changed a lot. There is now a fully custom UI on the home page and server page and I have to admit this is one of the nicest custom home screens I have seen. Moving on to the client's GUI, it has also majorly improved since the last time I used this client. Now while this GUI looks really good, there are a few things that I dislike about it. To start, it is not customizable at all beyond scale and the search feature does not really capture the mouse so elements below it are still triggered which is really annoying. I also personally think that the width of the columns is too large and I wish I could align the modules to one side rather than having them centered. When it comes to the client's HUD it is pretty customizable, you can use sliders to move each element anywhere on screen but it just isn't as good as a click and drag HUD editor so while there are aspects of the UI that I like and while the GUI looks good by default it lacks settings and I can't give it more than 7 out of 10. When it comes to combat modules, Liquid Bounce is another client that seems confused, again offering combat modules for minigame servers like the team module which prevents kill aura from attacking players on your team, while also offering modules like crystal aura and auto totem for crystal pvp. And to be fair to the Liquid Bounce client, I do think the pvp modules have improved overall since the last time I used this client, but even so the modules just aren't that great for anarchy or crystal pvp. So while things have improved, I can't give Liquid Bounce more than a 5 out of 10 for its combat modules. Thankfully things get slightly better here, Liquid Bounce offers some helpful utility hacks from modules like Abort Breaking which let you start and stop breaking blocks without losing progress, to modules like Vehicle One Hit which break all vehicles like boats or minecarts with a single hit. The render modules are okay, some of them look decent by default, but again most of them lack settings, like pretty much all of the modules and features of this client. There are also some missing modules like Surround and New Chunks which is seemingly a recurring theme throughout this video. Overall the utility and render modules work, but they aren't standout or super impressive, so 5 out of 10 seems to be a fair score. When it comes to client support, Liquid Bounce has a custom form, a Discord server, a guild server and other socials along with some tutorials on their website, so getting help with the client shouldn't be that hard. Liquid Bounce also offers a custom script feature where users can create and upload custom scripts for the client which is pretty cool. The client also comes with a good looking and functional proxy manager and a custom and easy to use account manager, both of which can be accessed from the homepage. So now let's compare the final scores of Worst and Liquid Bounce. Worst score a respectable 31 out of 50, while Liquid Bounce scored a pretty rough 24 out of 50. And again, the client would likely have done much better if this video was aimed at minigame servers. With that said, Liquid Bounce has been eliminated and the worst client moves on to face off against Meteor. In the next episode, we will see the Envy client face off against the Coffee client, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a dislike. With that said, I have been your boy Kylab, peace in the Middle East.